What's going on, guys? Ooh, there's a spider right there. I do not do spiders. So we got the spider stick in hand, but how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, deer season is getting very, very close. The days are winding down until fall, and the deer hunting prep is really in full swing right now. Checking trail cameras, making sure spots are good, trees are cleared out for stands, and uh, just the scouting. New spots have been scouted, and uh, it's just, it's that time of year, it, it really is. So now we are on another mission with the old doggos. We got Tucker and Daisy and my spider stick because I don't like getting spiders in my face. But we are headed back to check the trail camera and see if our target buck is back on there or if we have any new visitors. That's what I'm excited about. And another cool thing is the apples on the trees that I usually put in front of the camera, they're starting to get ripe, they're starting to get ready. So we're gonna do another video of us coming back here, bringing a whole thing of apples and setting it out for the deer. Now you can't have apples or corn or any sort of bait out in front of your camera after September 1. And it is August 3rd or 4th right now. I can't quite remember my phone's in my pocket and I got my spider stick and the camera and the and the other hand so I'm not gonna grab my phone but time is winding down for you to have bait in front of your camera and another thing ooh there's a ah, spider uh-uh uh-uh can I stand spiders <sighs> I guess you got to start liking spiders at some point if you're going to be outside, but I hate them. I cannot stand them. I'll deal with snakes, anything like that all day long, but when it comes to spiders, <laughs> the heebie-jeebies, ugh. And another thing you can do, if you don't like putting bait or corn, that kind of stuff out in front of your camera, you can make a mock scrape. And I've seen a lot of people, they'll actually cut down a tree and stab it in the ground in the middle of their food plot or like in the middle of an open field and make their own kind of mock scrape with a tree that they've cut down. So that works also. My old deer head stick fell down. This is the mascot of the food plot. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure to go check it out. But here's the food plot right here. It has been munched on like crazy. So we might have to come back. There's another big spider. We might have to come back and plant some more stuff before it gets too late in the season. Just so we have something there during bow season. But we're almost back to the camera now and we're gonna see what kind of goodies we got on it. Hey buddy, hi, hey. So exciting. All right, here we go. We're into the pictures now. Let's see what we have. Ooh, there's a buck. Not a giant, but there's a buck. Check this out. So that is our first decent buck that we've had on camera so far. You can see his rack right there just now coming in. He's definitely gonna be one to keep an eye out for in the next couple of years, but we're gonna probably pass him up this year unless he just grows insanely big within the next month and a half, two months. All right, that's good stuff. I like seeing that kind of stuff. There's another little buck right there. Not big. Not big at all, just barely starting to get towards his ears. We have nothing, nothing, a doe, coyote. That is a big stinking coyote right there. That thing looks like a wolf. Ooh, there's a decent buck. We got this one last year. He was on camera last year. So that is a pretty stinking good buck. Not huge, but dang, that is still a really, really good buck. Probably two and a half years old, three years old, maybe, possibly three. But he's got some insanely good potential. <laughs> We're going to have to keep an eye out for that guy. That is a nice buck. That thing is so tall. Here's another picture of him. Look at that guy. He is stinking tall. <sighs> yeah, we're going to have to let him pass. <gasps> oh, oh. Target buck is back. Oh my gosh, when was that? Okay, that's the third. That buck goes walking, okay. So you know the clip that I just showed you guys of that tall buck? Okay, he's gonna walk up to the right. This is the same day, it's on the third. Wait, yeah. Yeah, it's on the third, August 3rd, what is today? I'm not sure what today is, but the buck that I just showed you guys, that last clip, was this deer right there, standing right there. And now watch, this is the target buck. This is the buck that I've been telling you guys about. 
that in my first, I guess my first video back, I was looking for his sheds, talking about them, and I was getting them on camera regularly last off season, so last summer, but here he is. <sighs> He's got a little bit bigger, not insanely bigger, but he is thick. He is so thick. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is today's date? Today is the 4th. Today is August 4th. This was on August 3rd at 12.21 p.m. So he was out in the middle of the day yesterday with that other buck. They're in bachelor groups right now. Oh my gosh. I don't know where my dogs went. I really hope they're not chasing the deer off. But I think from here on out, we're gonna stop bringing the dogs back here so we can try to cover up as much sin as we can. And I'm really gonna start spraying down and uh, taking this stuff insanely serious because he is back. My target deer from last year is back. I didn't even hunt back here because I didn't want to see him because I knew I'd probably shoot him. But he is back. He is thicker. And <laughs> I'm so excited. That is awesome. So let me find my dogs. Let's get this trail cam set back up and let's get out of here and go shoot some bows. But oh my gosh, look at him. Look at him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is gonna be so stinking awesome if I kill this deer and we have like a whole storyline coming up to him because I have pictures of him last year, pictures of him this year, right when he was starting to get his nubs on the top of his head. I showed it in one of my previous videos and now he's starting to get his full antlers. That thing is a stinking stud. For a mountain deer, that thing is a stud. No crazy minerals, none of that, just straight whatever he eats on the mountain. And that thing, whew, I hope he hits the dirt this season. That's all I can say. <laughs> all right, bring me some more pictures of that big buck. I think he, I don't, I don't really know. I'll get your opinion on it. See what you think. All right, here's one of them. That's him? No, that's a different one. Dang, that's a decent buck. But I'm pretty sure I've already had him on camera. And then, that's him. Oh, wow. He's just gotten thicker. Now, who's he? That's the same one. So that was this one, but he walks up that. Because look, it's on the same day, on the third. And he comes right up. So that's that's that buck right up there. You see his horns? Yeah. And then that's the that's one. That's a nice one. That's him. He's, he's heavy, man. I know. He's gotten a lot heavier. Oh. He's just not tall. I want to see like a different angle of him, you know? That's the only one you have of him? It's the only one. Other than the one where he just had the ball on the top of his head where he's just grown his antlers. But that's the only two pictures I've had of him this year. Well outside his ears, it looks like. Yeah, he's just, he's like, I don't know how to explain it. He's just like far in front of his face. It's not tall or insanely wide. But it's a good deer. Yeah, it's it's a stinking good, good deer. Gosh. All right, so what we're gonna do is shoot a couple rounds. We're gonna shoot at 30 from up on the deck. It's kind of like shooting downhill, like out of a tree stand. So we have somewhat of an incline. It's good practice, but what we have out there is a deer target right now, and then we also have a little black cube target. So we're also gonna be shooting at that. We'll probably do two rounds at the deer and two rounds at the black square target at 30. And then we're gonna move in to probably somewhere around 25 to 20 yards. But both season is getting closer and closer, so I really need to start shooting every single day. I've been shooting at least twice a week right now, um, but I'm gonna start shooting every day, starting now, Take my word for that. Could just have one chance at shooting this deer and I've been watching him for two years. So it's a long story that I hope to close this year, but we will see. We're gonna shoot some down range and just have some fun. That's really not that bad for my first round of shots at 30 yards. I'm gonna see if I can get it just a little bit more tighter in that 30 yard mark. First two shots, round two. 
get it. Alright, that was a perfect shot. That was probably my best shot so far. That, that felt good. That felt good. Tad high. Not bad, not bad. Just a tad high. Here we go for round two. Not bad, not bad. This was the second shot, just a tad bit high. I feel good. Th those felt really, really good. So that was two rounds shooting at the deer target. Now what I think we're going to do is start shooting at this black block target. So I think what I'm going to do for the first round is shoot at this and that. And then the second round, we're going to shoot straight for the middle. All right, so this is going to be round three and we're shooting at the black block target. The top left is the first shot, top right is the second shot. Okay, that went straight through the target and I think <laughs> into the deer leg. Let's go check it out. So here is the first round on the black block target. I say that is some pretty decent shooting. So that was 30 yards and this last one, oh we're good. I thought it smacked straight into the back of that, but I guess it just grazed that. The deer leg, but it moves back. So we're good, we're golden. We didn't lose an arrow. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. So I'm gonna do one more round on this black block target and uh, shooting at 30. And then I'm gonna move to 20 yards and we'll shoot at this target again, just kind of repetition till my arm fatigues, uh, just so we have extra shots in. It's, it's never bad to have extra shots in. All right, last round, we're shooting straight at the center of the black block target. See how we do. Okay, I swear that keeps going through. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's in the boiler. And the last round, both <laughs> Dang, both are in the circle. That is stinking awesome. That loud noise at the beginning was me smacking once again. I didn't realize that I had moved the target so much when I was pulling the arrows out. It's usually right there, right in the center, but I guess I scooted it over this way too much. So both of these arrows pretty much smacked the deer leg and I hope it's not embedded too much. Okay. That one came out. All right, they're both out. We're good. The very middle of that target where we shot it so much, there's not much padding. So these arrows are going a lot deeper than what they usually do when we're shooting up at the top. But I mean, that's right in there. That's right in the boiler. I'm beyond happy with that. But what we're going to do now is move to 20 yards, shoot at this same target, and just kind of shoot until my arm starts getting really tired and I start shooting sloppy. And then I'm going to stop. Here we go. Shot number two. And here is 20 yards, repetition shots. The top left was the first shot. The bottom left was the second shot. Well, I guess that is gonna end today's video. I got the kayak all loaded up. We got the fishing rods in the back. I don't know if you can see the kayak back there, uh, but we're headed to the river right now. Gonna try to do some fishing, see what we can catch. But if you enjoy that type of content, walking through the woods, checking trail cameras, shooting bows, doing that kind of stuff, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on post notifications. I post two videos a week, Wednesdays and Sundays at 7 p.m. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Love you. Yeah.